With more storms headed our way, there's growing concern in Gilroy about a repeat of the disastrous flooding we saw this past week. Devin Feely explains why it may only keep happening until new protections are in place. Saturated soil, a rising river, and lots and lots of rain was the root cause of the devastating flooding Monday that submerged Highway 101, snarled the evening commute, and inundated farmland and homes alike. A lot of water from Mother Nature. You know, those atmospheric rivers came in back to back to back, and that creek is a small creek, and where you saw that flooding is really, it comes down from, from the mountains there, and it goes down to the flat area, and once it gets to the flat area, it spreads out, and that's what you saw. Two weeks of heavy rain off and on has filled Uvas Reservoir to capacity. It is spilling over for the first time in years, meaning effectively it has no more ability to absorb additional rain and runoff. And that can cause problems downstream, especially because there are no levees or other protections in the area where that flooding occurred. At that location, no, it's, it's unimproved. But uh, downstream from that location where there's more population, there are flood protection projects in place. It is not the first time that Uvas Creek has spilled its banks. It flooded in the exact same area in 2017. The images then and now are eerily similar, which perhaps should not be surprising, given that no improvements, no additional protections were added in the intervening years. Obviously, there's a lot of, of open space in that area, so uh, there were no discussions by our board of directors on moving forward with any flood protection projects at that location. Uvas Creek snakes down through the Santa Cruz Mountains into Morgan Hill and on into Gilroy. This week, its floodwaters coiled like a serpent around farm and field, house and home. The threat has since receded, but could easily return with the rain. Adding any kind of flood protections in that area would likely require a partnership between Valley Water, Caltrans, and the city of Gilroy and property owners.